Oh yeah, this is the look we're going with. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I have been so bad at making videos lately. I have like, there's so many that I like started to film and then never finish. Anyways, never mind that. Excuse how I look right now. I'm like packing up to go home and I was not bothered to like actually like get myself ready. Anyways, hi, my name is Carly, welcome to my channel. And today I am going to be showing you my vinyl collection of 2022. So in case you haven't been following my channel, I only started collecting records this year in February. So I don't have that many, but I figured I'd show you all that I have gotten so far this year. I'm also not going in order because I'm too lazy to order these right now. So I'm just picking whatever comes first, which happens to be Laurel Hell by Mitski. This one is in the black and red galaxy. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It looks really cool behind light though. Um, I also have the black and red triple button, which you'll see soon. Also everybody, meet my cat. <laughs> yeah, um, his name is Meemaw. Well, his name, he has two names, Catsby and Meemaw because he was my friend's cat who goes to Plymouth and she couldn't keep him anymore. So we snuck him into my dorm. Um, my mom doesn't know I have him. My Aries don't know I have him. He's a secret. My mom's gonna be meeting him today and she's probably gonna kill me. But yeah, I have a dorm cat. Then I have Stranger in the Alps by Phoebe Bridgers. This is the fifth anniversary? Fifth anniversary edition. And this is in like a super, super pretty like lavender purple swirl thing going on. It's honestly, it's one of my favorites. I think it is so gorgeous. I love it. Then we have Marine in the Diamonds Electra Heart. This is the Platinum Blonde Edition. I'm not gonna take it out because um, it's like double fucking packaged and it's annoying to take out, but it is in hot pink. Then I have Strange Trails by Lord Huron. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Anyways, this one I have a funny story about. So as you can see, this is in a really pretty like mossy green color. It kind of looks like an eye, like a hazel eye, which I really like. But yeah, funny story. I only, I pre-ordered this when it first like was a thing. Um, and it took so long to get to my house. I almost actually canceled the order because it was taking so long and I was like, eh, do I really want this album? I'm really glad I didn't because I only paid for one. I checked. I only paid for one, but for some reason they sent me two of the colored pressings. So I have one back home that's still sealed and I'm definitely going to sell it because it is already like upwards of like 80 plus dollars. Don't know why because there are so many colored pressings of this album and... The mossy green one literally just came out so i don't know why it's already so going up in value but i'm not complaining because i get to sell it then i have party favors by sir chloe and this one is in a very pretty light pink then i have my guilty pleasure album sour by olivia Ol olivia what olivia rodrigo can you stop oh my god and this one is in this light kind of transparent blue then I have one of my favorites, Be the Cowboy by Mitski. This is the Japanese edition, and it comes in this really pretty, like, red burgundy color. Then I have the Spirited Way soundtrack, and this one is in a black pressing, but it has... But it has etching on one of the sides. I'm not going to take it out because there's two discs, and I'm too lazy to find which one has the etching. You can probably look it up, but it's really cute. Then I have If I Can Make It Go Quiet by Girl in Red. I actually really love this pressing. It's like a black and white swirl. I got it from Urban Outfitters. Here's my other Laurel Hill album in the black and red triple button. I've already said this before, but I'm probably gonna sell one of them. Still cannot decide which one I like more. This one was a Valentine's Day gift, so I might keep the other one, but I don't know. Then I have AM by Arctic Monkeys, but I'm getting a new one for Christmas because this one plays horribly. It like skips every single song. Then we have Blurry Face by 21 Pilots, a classic. And this one is just in the silver pressing. Then we have Oh My Heart by Mother Mother. I actually saw them live in October with my friends. And it was so fun. But this one is just in a normal black pressing, which I'm so mad because literally right after I bought this, they came out with a record day store version that was like red and it had a picture disc. And I'm really mad, but it's fine. It's fine. I like black pressings too. And here's Lungs by Florence and the Machine. And this one is actually the same color as Be the Cowboy by Mitski. It's this very pretty burgundy color. This is Cosmic Candy by The Orion Experience, which I used to love this album and this band. And I really like their music. It's really funky. Here's the pressing. Also very fun and funky. It's like pink and yellow. But unfortunately, recently the artist uh, was outed as, I think like a child predator or something. Or like sexual predator. I don't know. He's a bad person. So... Now I feel bad having one of their records. Anyways, moving on. Now we have Lord Melodrama. We love it. Um, this is just the normal black pressing because Lord knows I cannot afford the blue one. Here's Puberty 2 by Mitski. And this one is in a white pressing. Look at her. 
so pretty. Can you tell I love Mitski? Like, could, could, could you tell? And what do you know? Even more Mitski. Bury me at Maple Creek. This one is probably my favorite in the collection, but it is in Coke Bottle Clear. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Then I also have Retired from Sad, New Career in Business by Mitski. This is a bootleg because it does not actually exist in the vinyl world, but bootlegs do. And it is in this like transparent blue pressing. Then I have these four picture di- four? No. Two picture discs of uh, Florence and Machine's newest album, Dance Fever. I actually might sell this because I mostly bought it because of this one picture disc that was on it that I really liked. But I like find myself never listening to this ever, like ever, ever. So I'm probably gonna sell it, but it's cool anyways. Also probably gonna sell this cause I also never listened to it. Um, but this is, what is this album called? When We All Go to Sleep, Where Do We Go? By Billie Eilish. Oh, I forgot to mention that was in the glow in the dark version. Yeah. Then I have this album. I, should I, do I call it a self-titled? Cause it te technically this is the title, but like, what do you, what do you even call that, you know? Anyways, this is by Dead Poet Society and it's just in a normal clear color. Then I have Phoebe Bridgers by Punisher. What did I just say? Phoebe Bridgers by Punisher, what? I'm so tired today, I'm so sorry. Punisher by Phoebe Bridgers. Oh my gosh. Anyways, this one is in like a red and purple. It's super fucking pretty. This is probably my most played vinyl that I have. <clears throat> I just play it all the time. Fucking love this album. Then we have Tell Me I'm Pretty by Cage the Elephant. I think I got this one at Newberry Comics and it's like a, it's like kind of clear, but it has like white and blue smoke. I like it. Then we have Saint Motel Vision by Saint Motel. And this one is in clear with black and white splatter. And then we have Favorite Worst Nightmare. This one is just in a normal black pressing. Hi, I'm back in my other room now, on break. Um, I only have two more records to show. Actually, intermission um, about my lovely kitty here. My mom does not approve that I got a cat secretly. So unfortunately, he's going to a new home soon. Uh, she's not letting me keep it, which is really sad, but I think he will be happier at his new home because he'll actually be able to just permanently be there and not have to travel with me back and forth from school. Anyways, as I was saying, I only have uh, two records to show that I got for Christmas. I technically got three, but one of them is Arctic Monkeys AM, and one I already showed that in two. It's, it's the same thing, it's just a new vinyl because my other one is too warped and scratched to play right, so I just got a new one. Anyways, with that being said, second to last is... what is this even called? It's just, it's a self-titled album, I'm pretty sure. Of uh, Hosier, I fucking love Hosier. This is a black pressing. I don't think this vinyl even comes in any color pressings, but yeah, I have this now, which is cool. And then the very last, but not least, vinyl of the year, I have Boy Genius, which has three different artists, Phoebe Bridgers, Julian Baker, um, and Luki Dacus. Is it Dacus, Dacus, Dacus? I don't know. And this one is in a super cool triple color. So we have clear, black, and purple, which I just, I love this pressing. I think it's so pretty. This was actually a Christmas present to myself. I bought this off Discogs and I actually got it for really cheap because this color pressing kind of goes for a lot, um, but I got it for a lot cheaper because as you can see, there is some significant damage on the sides. Like there's a whole ass rip here. Um, so luckily, I got it for pretty inexpensive and I don't really care that much. It does bother me, but like it's worth it for the smile because I really like this album. So yeah. But yeah, other than that, that is it for my vinyl collection right now. I hope you enjoyed seeing them all. And hopefully if you're like, if you watch my channel regularly, you liked seeing the progression of my collection. There will definitely be future vinyl videos to come. So if you're into that, stay tuned but yeah that is all i have for today and all i have for the end of this year i hope you guys all have a really good 2023 i hope you had a good 2022 but yeah that's it 